Hi there, welcome back to my channel, I am back with a cool tutorial for you guys. In this video I am gonna show you, how I made the feathers, for the parrot model, which I had used in my Ace Ventura artwork. And also stick to the video. I have an announcement for you. So without further ado, let's get started. For this process, we need our bird mesh with textures, and then we will add mesh cards and hair particles to make feathers. We will create all the feathers from scratch. These are the feathers which we need for our parrot. Small feathers, they will use to cover the neck and body area, they will be red color and some in orange color also. Some medium small size feathers. They will use in the wings of the bird. Then medium size feathers. They are mainly use in the wings. Then last one, the long feathers, they will use in his tail. As you can see, these all feathers are in different colors, we will make a single feather and then, you can color it in Photoshop or After Effects, for different variants. Before starting anything, I want to let you know that I am using particle systems a lot in this video, so if you are new to it and don't know the basics, you can watch this video. Let's create our first feather, this will be the medium size feather. So hit Shift A and add a circle. Go into the edit mode and model the shape of the feather stem, you can have some references if you want. I am extruding this top part and merge the vertices to center, to close the hole. Hit G twice to slide the edge loop. Make sure to use apply scale, every time you change the scale of the mesh. Giving some loop cuts by hitting Ctrl R. Now I am selecting these vertices for the vertex group. Add a vertex group and assign the vertex weight to 1. Now add the particle system and change emitter to hair. Lower the length. Assign the vertex group. Give more particles. I am giving 2500. Set the children to interpolated. Set the segments to 3. Now go to the particle edit mode. I am disabling this option for now. Let's select these weird vertices. Hide it by hitting H. Select these strands and scale down in Z direction. Select these tip vertices and scale down. Now unhide the previous vertices and align those also. To align these, set the cursor to 3D cursor. Set the 3D cursor on the root of the stand, and rotate it. Do this same to the rest of the vertices. Now I am in front view, spread all the strands evenly. You can also move the whole strand, by disabling this option. Now I am hiding these top vertices. And select these tip of the strands. And move it forward by pressing G. Now unhide the remaining vertices and shape them also with comb brush. Remember, these vertices are hidden, that's why they are not reacting to the grooming. Adjusting the vertices. I am trying to straighten up the strands. Now when you satisfied with the groom, select the knife tool and cut the shape of the feather. You can always grow and shrink the particles with this brush.
It's done. Now back to the object mode, and adjust some settings in interpolated children, adjust the particle number, the clump values and clump shape. Remember, increase the step size in viewport display and under render for smoother hair curves. Now I am going into particle mode for creating some gaps between the hairs. You can have some references of a real feather for shaping it. Now I'm creating a vertex group to create hair fluff in the feather. Same, add the particle system to hair and give low number of particles. Assign the vertex group. We don't need the particles in full 180 degree, so we remove some vertices from the vertex group. Now it's okay. Now I am shaping it in the particle edit mode. Deleting the unnecessary particles. Repositioning it. This time I had used the simple children mode, with very low radius value. Now shaping it. Deleting unnecessary particles. You can also select 50% of particles, slide it and groom it. When you have done the grooming, set the viewport segments to 4 or 5 to smoothing the curves. So our feather is done. Now render it in high resolution with transparency. I am quickly setting up some lights and camera, and render it. It's not necessary which color you choose for render, because I will change the colors in After Effects later. I just want some hair detailings in this render. When you finish the material and lighting, hit render. This is the hair shape settings for the render. Hit render. Now I am making a normal map for this feather, with a very simple method. Just select the viewport shading option, go to the map caps and select normals map cap. Yes, this is our normal map. Lol. It is okay for me, because I will use a very little amount of normal in the shading. To render this normal map, go to view, and hit viewport render image. Using the same feather for the second one, just scale it down in length, maybe change the overall shape and grooming. I am fast forwarding this part, as it is very repetitive. Same as before, render it, color it in Photoshop or After Effects, and also extract the normal map. With the same method, I am showing the last feather creation, this is also in time lapse as it is also have very repetitive steps. When you completed all the feathers, import those in After Effects or Photoshop and make color variants like these. Now I am going to show how I added the feathers to the model, but let me tell you first that normally we have to add feathers or particles in T-Pose model. This model is in folded wings pose because I don't have to use it in any animation or something. 
I just wanted the parrot for my Ace Ventura character. So this is our poor parrot model, he is naked right now. But don't worry we will add feathers on you. Yeah! But first, let me take to the color maps. This color map as you can see, this will use in the parrot material. And this color map will use in the fur material, because it does not have any feet or beak colors. Let's import the first feather. Giving some loop cuts. I am shaping the mesh plane, according to the feather. Remember when you are sliding the vertices, use G twice. I am setting the pivot point to the root of the feather. Now duplicating the plane, duplicating the material, and change the image to another one. With the same method, import all the feathers and shape them accordingly. Now I am starting to add the feathers on him. But first, let me sketch a rough drawing of the feather coat, to understand the feather positions. So select the grease pencil and start sketching. Yes, I am bad at drawing, when I am drawing with a mouse. Now I am taking our first feather. I am shaping the feather little bit, before placing. Do this to the feathers which needs it. I am shaping this feather, like this is shown in the image, these feathers will use in the wings. Now place the feathers on the mesh. You can enable the magnet option if you need. Keep checking the result in the render mode. Now place the yellow feathers. I highly recommend you to use the references to place them realistically.
Now just placing the different feathers to the appropriate locations. I am adding the normal maps to the feathers, and adjusting the materials. I had mirror all the feathers to the other side also. I used the parrot mesh as mirror object. Adding some extra feathers here and there, to cover up the area. I am duplicating some feathers and duplicate their materials and adding different feather colors. If you see these black artifacts in the mesh card, this is probably due to the normal map, just strength down the value of normal. Doing some more adjustments to look as much good as possible. Main important step is to take your time, in adjusting different feathers to different positions according to the references. With some small adjustments and tweakings, our feathers are done. I am putting these feather to a new collection. All the wing feathers are done, now we will move to the tail part. I am importing the tail feather is plain. Setting the pivot point to the root and start shaping the feather in edit mode. Before placing the feather, I am again drawing the basic shape of the tail.
Now placing the feathers. Duplicate the feather and its material, and change the color map of it. Same as before, duplicate it, and place it in different location. Mirror those as well, with Parrot Mesh as mirror object. Placing the medium feathers over his tail. Main important step is to take your time, in adjusting different feathers to different positions according to the references. Adding the normal maps in the tail feathers. His tail is also done. Putting that also in a separate collection. Let's test this in render mode. There is a tip here. Select all the feathers and go to edit mode and you can edit all the feathers simultaneously, no need to join them for proportional editing. Now it's time to add the particle system for the fur or fine feathers. So add a vertex group and, see your color map, and paint the feather vertices in weight paint mode. You can see I had enabled the X mirror option. Now start the paint, according to the color map. When the painting is done, Go to the edit mode and select those vertices which would not have the weight. And remove the weights from this vertex group. And we also have to remove the forehead vertices from the head vertex group, because we have to add a separate group for it. And now create the vertex group for the forehead. Now quickly jump to the particle system tab, and add our first particle system. Give 2500 particles. Assign the vertex group. 
Lower the length. Now jump to the particle edit mode and start combing. You can adjust this distance value according to your needs. Groom it with different distance values. You can enable the B-spline option, and increase the step size in viewport display. Let's enable the interpolated children and set the display amount, and give clump values. I am creating another material for the hair particles. Import the fur color map which I had shown you earlier. Now assign this material to the particles, under the render section. I am checking the result in the cycles render engine. Hair looks very thick right now. Let's set the hair shape settings. Adjusting the material of the fur. Adding little bit of clump noise. Adding some extra particles here. To see those extra particles, you have to paint the weight paint also. Now it's time to add the forehead particles. Carefully see the settings which I am doing.
I am giving some roughness to the hairs as well. Now adding another vertex group for the neck cover. Select these vertices and assign the weight to 1. Blur the paint with blur brush in weight paint mode. This time we are not adding the hair, we will add an image texture of feather in the particle system. I imported the image as plain, shaped it and given the material. Please note. I haven't had the normal map in this, because I don't want any artifacts appears in the render. And also don't forget to set the pivot point to the root. Let's add the particle system. Give low mount of particle, assign the vertex group, lower the length. Enable interpolated, and give the amount to 5, this is to see the mesh plane in particle edit mode also. Now go under the render, set the render as to object and select the image plane. Set the scale to 1 and give some randomness. Now go to the particle edit mode and start grooming, make sure you check the children checkbox. Adjusting the colors to match perfectly. Changing the scale of the particles. I am removing the particles from the face area, in weight paint mode. Now it's time to add the body fur vertex group. Select the vertices, except the head and the feet. and assign the weights to 1. Now add the particle system. I am time lapsing this part as this is very repetitive. I am doing the same steps here, children to interpolated, clump value to 1, View port display segments to 4 or 5, and hair shape settings. Now the body fur is done, I am adding the next vertex group, for his legs. I am time lapsing this part as this is very repetitive.
I am adding the last vertex group, for spreading some random mesh cards on his body. Now all the particles are done. Let's see our result. Wow, it's looking good to me. There's one more tip for you guys, you can also replace the body hair particles to mesh plane as well. In this render, the hair particles are only on his head part, rest of the body had the mesh plane cards. So this is it for this tutorial. Now, I have some news for you. I am making a full-length tutorial course of creation of this character, it will include all the modeling, sculpting, texturing and render part also, so stay connected and I will let you know when it's done. So this is it for now, I will see you in the next one. Yeah.